Hey everyone, this is Diana Rose. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you guys did not know, Miss Carson Blue and AC, uh, Martel's baby's mother, went live a little bit ago, both disputing the other's claims. Um, you know already that Carson said that AC had asked her her opinion about um, whether or not she should create a fake page and put a video on it of Martell and Melody, but pretend Martell and Melody in an intimate situation and pretend like it was another man, okay? Someone just random. Um, and then basically, Ariane, I guess she felt it was safe to come on live tonight to dispute that. Uh, she put on a whole show. I have video for that. Um, and when she came on, uh, Carson actually tried to go on her live. So they both still have each other's phone numbers. She tried to come on her live. Uh, Ariane rejected it. She said, no, you're not coming over here. Uh, so then Carson went and got on her own live and, and had some things to say. So I'm going to play you this live. Uh, but first I want to say that if you watched my video yesterday, I showed you guys a post where Carson had engaged Martel. And I showed you that post because she was very adamant with almost every YouTuber that she spoke with that she had not. Well, here's the post, you guys. It was on Martel's page. It's actually a video of him uh, throwing powder in the air and then clapping his hands. He said, I love this video so much I had to repost it. It's going down tonight, episode two. And then Carson Blue actually responds to that. And she said, what was the powder symbolic for? And then she gives a laughing emoji and the skull emoji. And Martel responds at Carson Blue Daily, stop acting slow, game time. And we all know who likes to say the word slow all the time, right? His baby's mother, right? Stop acting slow. Anyways, this post was about 34 weeks ago. That would put it somewhere around September 2022. So like that last week of September. Anyway, a YouTuber by the name of at T Talk with your girl went over to Carson Blue's page and asked her if she had an answer for why she was on Martel's post. Um, and she actually responded. She said, good morning. Nope. I honestly forgot that I was on that man's wall. That is not a DM. I was actually being sarcastic like smart ass. I honestly thought that he was offended. My bad, y'all. I forgot. Also, my original page name was Carson Blue. IG deleted my page, which we should all know the story by now. Y'all can go check out my last video if you need it. Then she goes on to say that she created Carson Blue Daily. And once the probationary period was up, she went back and used her original name, Carson Blue. And that's on the bottom post, by the way. The top post, she says, but did someone go and research this or was it just sent to y'all? Well, it was sent, <laughs> okay? Um, and then she said, because that was, my, that was my first and last time commenting on his page. This is clearly a tactic to distract y'all and discredit what I'm saying. She said, I still stand on I never spoke to Martel for real, but this was well played. So she's saying there's a difference between speaking to him and, you know, making a comment under a post. So, so Ariane went live first after Carson could not join her live. She started her own. So there's just a little bit that we miss, but Carson will be up first and then Ariane. I don't care. Like, like about Ariane and Martel. Okay. And let me be clear. I did not see Martel say this to her. I did not see the video for myself. I'm going solely off of what Ariane said. But she knows what she's doing. She's using an app. She's trying to talk. She's trying to talk like vulgar or foul and saying, I F them be, I mean, F them. I can't wait till I get down there. Like, Ariane, what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna get down there and fight them for you? What I was going to, what was I going to do? Go down there and what, why, what was I saying that to you for? The thing is you're going around watching everybody that has posted me every interview and you're taking information. You're smart enough to take bits and pieces of information and you're saying bits and pieces of things that's already out and you're putting it in whatever your message form where you're messaging yourself. Oh Lord. She says she doesn't know anything about a tape. 
Don't worry, we know she's lying. It'll all come out. She, she's lying. All right. You're right, Anthony. She, but she 100% knows about the tape. Yes, Southern Butterfly. BD is Ariane's lingo. Lingo. That's what I'm saying. And that's really where she messed up for me. Because at first, I'm like, at first I thought she was just posting messages. I'm like, what? These aren't our messages. But then I'm looking like, she's messaging herself. <laughs> he definitely called her while she was live. Oh, y'all say he's helping her? And, all right, I am calm down, guys. And for y'all who keep saying, um... I had wrote on Martel's wall and I said I never spoke to him. You're right. I apologize. I did write on his wall. That was not a DM. What it was, was it was just on the popular page. And it was like a video of him clapping powder in the air. And I was actually being sarcastic, like smart mouth. And I was like, what was the uh, powder symbolic for? Because the video really wasn't giving what he thought it gave. And I actually thought I offended him because he was like, game time don't be dumb or something like that and then we didn't say anything else to each other and i actually showed my man like oh i think i just pissed martel off i was like but it looked stupid the video really did look stupid so go look at it so i will play a little bit of arian's live because it was a lot of theatrics and pausing and looking at the camera uh y'all know how she does it um so i'm gonna play her video next and y'all can make your own decision about what you think um, and iPhone doesn't lie. <laughs> My phone. I'm live on Paris phone. And it's like, why are y'all even giving this so much attention? It, it, it kills me with the show. Um, first, when it's about to come back on, oh, area I'm pregnant. Now it's this. Ratings is low right now. Y'all need to tune in. Did y'all watch it? Like, y'all need to tune in. I'm, I'm just not understanding how I'm still the top. Is Mr. Ho not out entertaining a whole other, and I'm still, y'all still going crazy over there now? How did I meet her? Let's get into it. Keep me on, keep me on topic, y'all. Um, I met her because actually it was, uh, let, let's get into the DM so we can talk about it so I can give y'all Okay, we can go to the top so I can tell y'all about the time so y'all can know. And it says Instagram user because she doesn't have this account no more. But just because she don't have that account doesn't mean I can't see all of our messages. Um, if I delete my account today, if I still have what's communicating, it's still in there. But hold on, y'all. We're going to get into it. Because I met her because she commented on a blog. But she was like in defense of me. And I commented back. <laughs> That's how I met her. And she started following me and I followed her back. Um, I wasn't under the impression that it was a hair page. It looked like it was a regular page. Like she was a cute girl. It looked like it was her family on there. Um, maybe she posts her business on there. But I was just under the impression that, okay, you know, whatever. So we start following each other. She comes in my DMs. And we're gonna, we gonna take our time, y'all. Cause ain't no rush, we ain't upset. We just literally looking like this is weird. We not mad. Um, we just like, girl, clout is one hell of, hell of a drug. But hold on y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm almost down there cause I'm gonna tell you how far I had to go down. So I'm down at 59 weeks. So this was 59 weeks ago. We just stopped talking like randomly. So I just moved her over to general. So we're in general, guys. We're, scroll we're gonna scroll all the way up. These are our DMs. And mind you, I, <laughs> y'all, cause y'all, y'all YouTubers, y'all gonna, y'all gonna get the tea and go do what y'all need to do. Y'all gonna have the receipts and dates and all this. I can't make this up, y'all. This right here, boop, she asked me to go to a comedy show. I cashed after the money for it. In here, she asked me to go. 
This is me, her, her, her responding. This is, this is it, y'all. Her asking me, she said, hey, girl, what are you doing on the 25th? Me. Hey, boo, I don't have any plans. I'll be in town for a couple of days, and y'all have a comedy show on the 25th. I want to go. I'm about to send you the guy page. Everybody say he's funny. I've never even been to a comedy show in Huntsville, y'all, ever. Me? <laughs> okay, let's go. She sent me the guy page, whatever. I don't care who he is. And then she like, okay, perfect. The ticket's on his website link. I'm about to buy one. They only like $27. Me, buy mine. I'll cash app or zeal you. Okay, send me your information. Then she sent me her cash app. I'm buying them now. I'm sending it now. Put up. It says, it's never a stranger behind a fake page. Best believe she was a fan first. You're a fan. So then she, t she writes me and say, hell, I've had friends in the past who actually made pages just to say foul shit to me. I only figured it out because one time a fake page said something I never told nobody but that friend. I was so hurt and I cut her ass clean off. I didn't do that to you, though. <laughs> Everybody doesn't do this what your friend did to you that you told me about. I'm not getting... My algorithm on my Instagram is nothing of bullshit, y'all. I kid you not. On my business page or my page. N none of that. Anything that is going to um, pass by my mind to make me feel um, trigger anxiety or anything like that. Like that shit for this shit for me gives me anxiety. I'm not going to order a fake page looking for a girl just because. I, I don't do that, y'all. I don't do that. So. That's all I got to say. And I will not be addressing this no more, guys. Um, this is just... I will not be giving her no more attention. I already about to go crazy over this little snippet. <sighs> but, yeah. I would not be addressing... So, it looks man. like Martel is giving her a call right now. Um, of course, he was watching the whole thing. She tells him that she's on live, and then he asks her to step back so that she can show she's not pregnant. Okay. So I think she's reading text messages right now because before she was looking at the chat messages on the screen, but someone must have told her you never denied it. So she starts to put on right here. I, I never sent the tape. I don't, like, I don't know what y'all talking about, we, we, but we're not even, that's, yeah, guys, no. Uh-uh. That has nothing to do with me. I, I don't know <laughs> nothing about... And that's pretty much how her live ends, but she ended up posting to her IG stories. I do not have nothing to lie about. I did not participate in a plot. I don't know nothing about a plot. Now I'm done entertaining the circus.